Most virtual reality games are played using handheld controllers, but one Taiwanese company is putting a big bet on VR games that are controlled by the user's eye. The company has created a way to easily add eye tracking capability to any VR headset or pair of smart glasses. Their invention is a little device that attaches uh, right onto the frame. And this eye tracking module uh, was recognized by this year's CES Innovation Award. burgeoning market, tech giants such as Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Apple, and more have been racing to develop AR and VR technologies. However, most of the products still rely on handheld controllers. The future user interface for AI and VR may be our eyes. While eye tracking technology has not been widely adopted in AR and VR devices yet, a Taiwanese company sees the potential of eye tracking in AR and VR. Jian, an electronics engineering professor at National Taiwan University, believes that the four key applications for eye tracking technology are market hotspot analysis, medical treatment, educational training, and mobility aids. Eye tracking technology can allow patients diagnosed with stroke or cerebral palsy to communicate. Some paper, academia paper, we can find that with the eye tracking, we can predict some disease with the, the eye movement. Yeah. The other way is that I, I, your eye movement is also a very good tool for, for communication for, for some uh, in, inhibit person. Yeah, for example, one of the famous ones is Dr. Hawking. Yeah, and uh, because uh, he has a ALS disease, so he basically cannot talk he, and he cannot control his hands. Okay. And finally, they, he finally gave the, the, his speech and the right book with the uh, eyes and his muscles, which is the case. Uh, so you can see. Jen and his students have dedicated themselves to developing eye tracking technology that enables users to control AR and VR devices with their eyes, allowing people to use their hands for other tasks. Based in Taipei, the company mainly comprises of electrical engineering graduate students of National Taiwan University. Many gave up opportunities with top tech companies to work here. So when we in the university, we seen the, the AR, augmented reality, is an evolution for the future IT industry. Yeah, so actually, I, my student put a, a lot of uh, uh, effort in different parts of, uh, of uh, AR. And finally, we found that eye tracking has a great potential because it can not only for AR, VR, but also for many kinds of a field, medical, safety, education or marketing, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, some people have this kind of idea. For example, for some uh, a truck or bus drivers, when he wear this kind of glass, for example, he wear a sunglass with eye tracking, we can know the condition of the drivers. So for example, when he lose contract, or when he feels tired, when he has a too much workload, we can know those information from his uh, gaze information. They spent five years building a module that can precisely track eye movements. It features ultra-low power consumption, and with a small form factor, the module can be attached to the frame of any smart glasses or AR and VR set. The developers showcased their innovative solution at CES 2020 and were awarded the show's Innovation Award. The major difference between our solution and others is that uh, we designed uh, the whole eye tracking from algorithm to the hardware, so we can design our chip for eye tracking, so which makes it very small. So our eye tracker is actually the, uh, has the lowest power consumption, has the smallest form factor, and the, the most easy is it one to, to be integrated into any kind of device in the market? Working to enable new applications for AR and VR, the group hopes to focus on the field of assistive technology to help people with disabilities communicate. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Li Jianwei in Taipei.